We have been very efficient in our presentation. The prosecution feels that they've been efficient mm -hmm. in their presentation. I was like, are they over there complimenting themselves? <laughs> I mean, how's she going to say she's efficient? You know, I mean, of course she thinks she's efficient. <laughs> Yo, it's girl J9E. We got Daryl. On this particular day, Daryl was, he was in objection mode. Put it to you like that, okay? <laughs> Daryl feels like, oh, you've had enough time, you know, you know, you had enough time to go through all these things. What you're not going to do is sit up here and repeat yourself, okay? This is basically how Daryl was feeling, which is funny because Daryl is in fact known mostly for repeating himself, you know, and driving around in his house. That too. But uh, we're going to hop in here and see what is going on with the Daryl. Why he's so passionate about these ideas today. <laughs> Hit the like button for mama. Okay. And subscribe if you are not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, consider becoming a member. Supporting mama on a regular basis. She appreciate it. And what's going on, Daryl? What's, what's popping? Don't mind me. I'm just a watching. Okay. <laughs> The state has not rested yet. Uh, will the state anticipate calling any other witnesses? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. As Don't roll your eyes, yesterday, girl. Yesterday, we do intend to recall the detective That's gonna help. to the stand, and I'd like to uh, make a record in that regard, please. Go ahead. Your Honor, uh, Detective Casey did testify once for the state uh, early in the presentation of the matter. Mm -hmm. His focus at that point was largely on uh, assisting the jury in understanding the layout of the parade route, um, giving background and uh, contextual information to the jury, um, the different parade units that were impacted, uh, what, you know, what they looked like. We showed several videos with Detective Casey just for background and context purposes. Mm -hmm. He then went on to describe his personal interaction with the SUV as it came through the intersection of White Rock and Maine. And uh, was essentially, um, that was the, the bulk of his testimony uh, during his first testimony. We're seeking to recall him now. This is uh -huh. not unusual. It is commonly done yep. in cases. We never excused him from his subpoena. We never asked for him to be excused from his subpoena. <laughs> we always intended to recall him. We did this so that we can efficiently present the information to the jury. Mm -hmm. um, the types of questions we have for him now go more to the investigation itself and his role as the lead detective in this case. Exactly. There will not be duplication or repetitive <sighs> questions. I'm not going back to the corner of White Rock and Maine with Detective Casey during this uh, round of testimony. Mm -hmm. We want to ask him uh, essentially about how some of the victims along the parade route were identified. We want to ask him about um, some of the topics that have been addressed throughout the course of the state's case as far as identification of the vehicle and identification of the driver uh -huh. and um sounds reasonable we need to still introduce the um certified bail forms from milwaukee county for the two bail jumping counts mm -hmm. so we will be asked about that i estimate my direct examination of detective casey would be about 20 minutes so this is not um, going to be repetitive. It's information, again, that he has as the lead detective in the case to, uh, to assist the jury in understanding some of the things on the back end that he was involved in, not uh, his role at the parade. We have been very efficient in our presentation. I believe Your Honor would agree with that. I agree. Um, we're not wasting time here, but I we concur. just have a few more questions I conquer. To wrap this up. <laughs> All right. Any position from you, sir? And yes, of I course. do. And of course. I'm start with what was just said. The, uh huh. What was just said? Um, the prosecution feels that they've been efficient mm -hmm. in their presentation. That was like, 
are they over there complimenting themselves? <laughs> I mean, how's she going to say she's efficient? You know, I mean, of course she thinks she's efficient. <laughs> what about me and my thoughts? I don't think she was efficient. You know, that hole, it ain't deep enough yet. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's all I'm saying. So it, it, uh -huh. it seems like to me, uh, uh -huh. What's an attempt like? to get more questions in that that could have been asked in the first place if oh my god daryl even you if don't your honor daryl don't even believe what daryl is saying right now <laughs> it seemed like they could have asked these questions before is what i'm saying because um detective casey was um testifying for quite some time uh -huh. to the point that we actually had to have a break before i can cross-examine detective casey if you recall he was up there quite some time. That was more than enough time for. Uh huh. Was it? Uh, was it enough time? You tell him, Daryl. You tell him, Daryl. You've been lawyering way longer than they have, haven't you? <laughs> it seemed like. Oh my gosh! It seemed like you going to jail for a thousand years. What it seemed like. That's what it seemed like. You know, but you ain't pointing that out, are you? You ain't gonna point. You ain't gonna say nothing about that. <laughs> any other what foundations are you to at? be laid? In guy? Any questions to be asked mm -hmm. at that time? Well, ain't nobody um, toting the axe like you, Daryl. And also, uh huh. Also, from what? My recollection. Okay, what you recollecting? Look at, look at his. Is it just me? You know, why does this eye look like this? Why does this side look like a straight line like this? I noticed the weirdest shit, you guys. <laughs> look at this. Why does that look straight? I'm just like a cat. <laughs> he was asked to be excused. Uh huh. So. Who asked him to be excused? Essentially, having him start off. And then mm -hmm. end it. Uh huh. I feel like it's breaking the the time space continuum. Is that what you feel like? How y'all gonna have it in, and then you're gonna start? <laughs> it feels like it's breaking something in the universe. Okay, the An multiverse. To get questions that was maybe forgotten to be asked, answered. Uh huh. I and can't even imitate Daryl's eyes. What more could be gained? By a second testimony from Detective Casey. <laughs> what, what more can be gained that hasn't already been learned? We learned about. She just told you. She just told you. She just told you. She just said it. Okay. <laughs> she just said what she was going to ask him about. You wasn't listening, no, was you? You was just waiting to be like, no. <laughs> I don't think this is necessary, Your Honor. And because you've been listening to everything else that I say, I for some reason believe that you're going to pay any mind to what I'm saying now. You know, because words and life and science and math. Okay. Uh, vehicles and uh, uh, identification uh -huh. and, uh, by numerous witnesses. We, uh -huh. we, we've, we've been through the uh, <coughs> the uh, inspection of the vehicle. Girl, we've been through. You already uh, know how this is going to go, right? Uh, the DNA analysis of the vehicle. You we've must been know. Through, uh, uh -huh. the numerous things in regards yeah, to Yeah, lots the of vehicle. stuff. Lots of stuff. Uh, we've gone through the, all of uh, this. All of this, Your Honor. Even the uh, reconstruction. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, which, which she just said they're not going to go over again. <laughs> she just said they're not going to go over that. She just said they're not going to repeat. They're going to go over something, his, uh, his perspective from something else, some other part of that whole thing that you caused. Okay. Tony, we, we, we've been through all of that. Uh huh. Um, which she already said. Seems like nothing more than to get extra questions answered that could have been asked from the get go. Okay. As seeing as how he, he was up there for quite some time and, and, and none of those issues were raised at that time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is would this be your lawyer look? At this is this your is uh, is it <laughs> that was a funny pause. Is this your lawyer look, Daryl? <laughs> your honor. I'm gonna have to insist. <laughs> you know when I make this face, you I mean you know I mean business. At this point. Um, <clears throat> when you Essentially, I, I should be already presenting uh, my defense at this point in, oh, in, in trial. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello. It's my turn, Your Honor. This is not fair. Why did I get so many chances and it's not my turn yet to ask stupid ass questions? I have waited patiently. Well, well, I've waited kind of, sort of. And I was <laughs> it is now my turn to be all I can be. I hope you understand that this time is just for me because <laughs> it's my turn. I don't see the relevancy of it. Oh, and to well my then. knowledge, he was 
excused well, from. You don't see the relevance of this trial either. So I guess we should get them things up off your ankles. They are way too tight on your cankles. You done told us that already. I remember. I remember you saying it, Daryl. He's subpoenaed. So. Uh huh. So no, Wait. tell her. Tell her no. Thank you, sir. Daryl. Daryl, you look her. Look her square in the eye and just say, "Look, no. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down." You hear that jingling? That's my shackles. <laughs> They're jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. They're jingling, baby. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the court has discretion. Uh, that's right. Under 90611. Tell them I work. It's a statute I've quoted with frequency during the course of these proceedings. Mm -hmm. He no understandy. Um, I've listened to the state's offer of proof. Mm -hmm. I've listened to uh, the objections made by the defendant. Yeah, that's stupid. Um, in my discretion, uh -huh. yes. I am going to allow Detective Casey to be recalled. Uh, for the reasons laid out by the state, uh -huh. um, as I understand, his all that testimony coming. today it is not to rehash. Uh, Your Honor, you can't just be ignoring his demands. You know what I'm saying? You you got to you got to listen to him. His opinion matters <laughs> to him. I think I think it ma I think they do matter to him. Your Honor, I'm just I mean that's all I'm saying. Just going to discard what this man just said. You know, he just told you. He just demanded what he demanded. You know what I'm saying? Are you nothing like his mother? You're just going to you're just going to not give him his way. <laughs> Topics that uh, he was questioned about initially. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this has to do with his investigation and role uh, subsequent to the initial contact mm -hmm. um, with Mr. Brooks at the beginning of the parade route. Oh, my God. And now go ahead and waste your time objecting to being called that name. <laughs> As the state indicated, uh, oh. we'll address certain things, including mm -hmm. um, identification yes. uh, related to the vehicle uh -huh. of the driver throughout the investigation, identification yep. of certain victims. Uh, in addition, there are two additional charges for which the state has not yet presented testimony, so it's proper for those as well. It's relevant, mm -hmm. and um, I will allow it for those reasons. That's right. So the state will be able to recall Detective Casey. Now we'll, what, Daryl? We'll have that done, obviously, when the jury is brought out. Any other now preliminary what? issues, then, from the state? Um, Your Honor, just, um, I am working on going through our um, list of exhibits, and I will work with your clerk to make sure that everything that I'm showing was mm -hmm. admitted and accepted by the court um, is what she has, so that we can clear that up before we actually rest. Come on, Daryl. I know you're going to say something. From you, sir. Yeah, just a quick question about uh, that. saw that one coming. Last uh, day again. Would I will be able to recross examine? Oh, yes, you will. And <laughs> yes, Daryl, you get to recross examine him. <laughs> yeah, of course you can recross examine him. Of course. Come on now. How are we gonna not let you examine him? You're gonna cross examine him to your heart's content. You can ask the same stupid ass questions that I'm sure you did last time, and I'm sure he'll give the same answers. So, oh, why are you rolling your eyes like this, Daryl? I'm trying to explain something to you. <laughs> and that's what's wrong with you now. You don't listen. It's like you asked if you could also cross-examinate him. Okay. I told you yes. And look, you're still mad. You're going to be mad anyway, no matter what. I should have told you no, just so you could just run your mouth for 45 fucking minutes. <laughs> look at this. He was hoping that she was going to say no. So he could be like, that's not fair. But she says yes. And he like, oh. <laughs> I don't even have no questions for him. This is prejudice. <laughs> Tell her that it's prejudice. Maybe she'll let you go. <laughs> is essentially anything left off limits to my cross? Or what? What does that even mean, Daryl? <laughs> no, not everything is off limits. You can't ask this man about what he had for dinner. It is irrelevant. <laughs> Stop trying to live vicariously through this man's dinner, okay? You ain't getting no more freedom sandwiches, okay? It's over for you. I can't believe you had that one sandwich in your pocket. Daryl had his last freedom sandwich in his pocket when he ever so gently laid on the ground for the police to take him away. <laughs> and then they took it. That's messed up, Daryl. That's, that's messed up that they took your last freedom sandwich like that. <laughs> I mean, you should have just ate it. You know, I know you a little guy. You a little girl. You don't look like you did a whole lot of eating back in the day. I don't know how you're doing in there. You're probably eating a little more in the prison. I think it's a better suit for you. You know what I'm saying? I may limit depending on uh, where we go. If 
the questions deal with what he testified to previously it's primarily to cross examine based on the new testimony however nine oh six eleven also says this witness may be cross examined on any matter relevant to any issue in the case including credibility does say in the interest of justice the judge may limit cross examination with respect to matters not testified to on direct so I'll give you some leeway and I'll trust the state will make appropriate objections and I'll rule on them if and when they're made look at her not intended look at her being all reasonable she's so reasonable he didn't deserve you Doro he didn't deserve you <laughs> they go too much back into the previous testimony but I think it made a few points from the earlier testimony I may come into fair. play and I just wanted to make sure I think that's fair because yeah, that's all you know you, you gotta wait and see what they say they might say something that'll trigger you to ask some kind of question you lack patience Daryl you lack patience <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem I think that's fair sir um also Ugh, uh, really here quick, we go um that's right give them an inch i did look over and they run over your children <laughs> daryl must you object to everything okay must everything be hard why can't you just shut the hell up right just you know put on your three shirts and just crawl up underneath of this prison and just accept it okay just relax and let it happen okay <laughs> the world would be a better place you know heal it heal the world Make it a better place, you know. <laughs> Y'all know what to do. Y'all behave, okay? Just behave. Because I'm not going to do it. No. <laughs> I can't. I can't be me and behave at the same time. I got to pick one. And I'm going to pick me. You feel me? But guess what? Mama love you. Yes, she do. Indeed, she do. And you know this, man. Peace.